Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with a Bang. My name is Taban Mabala and I'm your cook. Today we're making ox liver and mashed potato but with a twist. Um, if you're a new subby, thank you, thank you so much for checking out my video. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the upcoming ones. And if you're a returning subby, oh my gosh, you're a one. And thank you for your loyalty. So let's get through today's um, ingredients. What we have today, we have potatoes, we have fresh cream, butter, parsley, we have onions, salt and pepper, rosemary, thyme, paprika, oregano, garlic salt, tomato paste, and we also have the ox liver itself. Thank you, let's get started. Firstly, boil your cubed potatoes that are peeled in hot water and let them cook until they soft. Season with garlic salt and pepper. While they cook, heat up a bit of oil. Remove your liver from milk that you've soaked prior for about half an hour or so and pat it dry with a kitchen towel on both sides. Add flour to your liver. Make sure you coat it on all the sides. Coat, coat, coat. Add the liver to the heated oil and cook on both sides for about two minutes. Season it with oregano before removing it from the pan and remove it, set it aside. In the same pan, add a spoon of butter and saute your onions until they soften. Add a teaspoon of tomato paste and season with paprika and season with rosemary and add about half a cup of stock, beef or chicken. Then add your cherry tomatoes and the liver and let it cook for two minutes or so and voila you have your liver done once the potatoes soften remove the water and add your parmesan cheese season with salt mash it make sure there are no lumps and add butter to it and cream or milk Voila, you have your parmesan mash garnish with parsley. Enjoy your meal. Done. for watching guys and that is our ox liver and parmesan mash video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our video also tag us on our social media pages whenever you try it out and thank you thank you thank you i'll leave all the information and the ingredients in the description box down below thank you voila